John Mons has a degree in finance from Morehouse College and a job as a stay-at-home dad who is homeschooling his children. He's also hoping to make history as the Libertarian Party candidate for governor. Fox Ties Paul Yates talked with Mr. Mons today about the top issues in the race. Paul. John Mons made Libertarian Party history two years ago, Amanda, when he got more than a million votes in a Georgia Public Service Commission race. Now he's striving for another breakthrough based on a message about the role of government. Well, it should be a very limited constitutional role. Really, the, the primary purpose of government is supposed to be securing our rights. Libertarian candidate for governor John Mons says government is trying to do too much. We've seen that the intervention into the, the marketplace you know, has caused most of the problems that we're facing now. So we, the government really needs to pull back. At the same time, Georgia government is facing another big budget shortfall. Which programs would you cut in order to balance the state budget? Well, first of all, you have to look at both sides of the equation. And right now, uh, you look at creating revenue. We need to create a positive, uh, competitive environment uh, compared to other states in our region or in across the country and even in the global marketplace. So if we do that, we create that type of, of environment, you know, that'll help us raise revenue. Mr. Mons argues that greater reliance on a free market economy would produce new money to fund education. We're not really in control of our state's education. We, so we have to get away from mandates that forces up costs and, and uh, gets us away from what we need to be doing, and that's letting teachers teach. Georgia is in line for $400 million under the Race to the Top competition. How do you view that? My view of it is this. You know, how long will we be getting that money? You know, when you look at getting grants and, and things from the federal government, you know, are these sustainable things? What happens when the money goes away? He opposes planned regional votes on sales tax increases to pay for transportation projects. I would say no. I mean, we're in, when you're in a tough economy, when you're in a, in a downward economy, the last thing you really need to do is be raising taxes. Aren't other means going to have to be found? to fund transportation improvements? Otherwise, won't this area be mired in gridlock? We don't have to always look to the government for solutions. We can look to private industry. But if, if people have more money, they, there'd be more out there available to be able to support uh, programs. Mr. Mons is in favor of allowing casino gambling and horse racing in the state. And I don't think it's the place for government to say, no, we don't like those type of jobs or we don't like your industry. I think the people should be able uh, to decide that factor. Specifically, would you support casino gambling and underground Atlanta? If uh, uh, underground Atlanta is an option for them, uh, I think they ought to be able to at least investigate that, uh, bring in the due diligence and, and the money and do the studies, whatever they need to de do. But they should be open and the government's position should be open to allowing business to come in. Now, no libertarian candidate for governor has won more than 4% of the vote in Georgia. Mr. Mons hopes he can capture a bigger slice of the electorate this year and change the course of the election. Russ. Well, thanks. For more information on the candidates and the midterm elections, just go to myfoxatlanta.com and click on the politics page.